Hundreds of people celebrated their ancestors who died for the faith in Vietnam during the annual Vietnamese Martyr Celebration held November 18th at St. Martin de Poor Church in Columbia. The annual celebration honors 117 Vietnamese martyrs who were canonized by Pope John Paul II in 1988. They are known as the Martyrs of Tonkin, or Anam, and Andrew Dong Lok and Companions, and their actual feast day is November 24th. Franciscan Father David Q. Fon and Father Albano Munoz, pastor of St. Anne Church in Rock Hill, can celebrate a special Mass in Vietnamese. The liturgy featured traditional hymns sung by a choir representing several different parishes, as well as a traditional flower dance performed by young girls from around the state. Missionaries, as well as laymen and women, faced persecution and death for being Catholic in Vietnam from the 16th through 19th centuries. The 19th century was especially brutal because several ruling dynasties in the area tried to completely wipe out the church's presence. Some Vatican officials and historians estimate that up to 300,000 Catholics may have lost their lives in Vietnam during these years. The celebration drew people from Columbia, Rock Hill, Greenville, Myrtle Beach, and Charleston. There are an estimated 1,500 Vietnamese Catholics statewide, according to figures compiled by the Diocesan Office of Ethnic Ministries. The event started with a procession. Men, women, and children sang and carried banners and flags as they filed into the church, leading a group who carried a reliquary containing relics of the martyrs. After the Mass, everyone had a chance to come forward to venerate the relics and receive a blessing. They also shared a meal together. We have a long history of faith, and we continue to practice that faith and we remember them to help us how do we live our way today to uh, practice our faith to exercise our faith in a way that we continue to promote the faith so our children can uh, express and bring that faith to the next generation and i think that throughout the vietnamese generation we are struggle even today the vietnamese um, um, still struggling with faith the communists and the press and we continue to pray for them and and hopefully that this celebration help us to strengthen our uh, faith here and continue to live a way that we are called to be disciple of Christ. 